third and a long three. Miller on a reverse. And Lebanon is going to have him shy of the... That was a quarterback keeper, I think, all the way. He wanted to roll out and uh, keep it and maybe surprise Lebanon. And the Blue Devils had two defensive men over there that played that pretty well. And Miller gets up, and I think he may have been tackled on the ball or fell on the ball and had the wind knocked out of him. He goes to the sideline all doubled over. It will be fourth down and about three, about well, fourth down and a long two for Hendersonville. And they'll have to punt it away at their own 40-yard line. Back to kick is Carmack. John Carmack, he will stand at his own 27. Tressler is back at the Lebanon 26. And keep in mind, there's a light rain falling. Ball's going to be wet. He, getting, he finally gets the kick away. And it goes out of bounds. Lebanon is going to have great field position. Carmack got another bad snap. He's got bad snaps all night. He's gone in the air to pull three down. That one was bad. And uh, Lebanon's rush was in on him. And he gets, Terry, I'll let you figure that one out. Clyde, the line of scrimmage was the 40. Carmack got the snap. He dropped it. He kicked it out of bounds at the 40. That's a zero. <laughs> that'll, that'll hurt that old average when you come up with an ought. <laughs> Boy, what a, what a break for Lebanon here. Now they get the ball at the Hendersonville 40, and it's time to go get one Blue Devils. Wide out to the near side is Zachary. They pitch it to Griffin. Needs a break. Got a little hole. Griffin outside. Slides outside. 25, 30. He's down to the 20. Griffin going to be knocked out of bounds on a game-saving tackle down at the 15, maybe the 14-yard line. Diving for a toe was Billy Sneed and barely got enough of Griffin to trip him up and knocks him out of bounds at the 14. It'll be first and goal, so the Blue Devils are in great field position right here. John, they ran the play right at you. Griffin, good separation there, good speed. Takes it off tackle, Tommy, busts it outside, turns his speed on and outruns the defensive unit for Hendersonville. Barely got caught. Actually, I thought we got a bad spot. Uh, I thought he stepped out around the uh, 11 or 12 yard line, but they mark it at the 14 and Hendersonville takes a timeout. We'll take one too. We'll take it back to the station for this 60 second time. Lebanon High School. We're here with Rochelle, McCullough and Oz to thank them for their support and present to them this Blue Devils football souvenir. The law firm of Rochelle, McCullough and Oz is proud again to be a sponsor of the Lebanon High School football team and cheerleading squad. Go Devils! There, and uh, I, don't, I guess the radio audience knows that, but we're really working down here. Here come the Blue Devils. Whiteouts left and right. Tressler to the short side. C, or rather, it's Hankins to the wide side. And they give it to Griffin. Griffin going to turn it at the 10, knocked out of bounds at the 9. But there's a flag down, and I think this is going to be against Lebanon, probably holding. But let's check. Yep. That's what you usually get when that flag comes from that point. So that's going to be backing the Blue Devils up. And Lebanon's got a man down. That may be Griffin over here now. And it, it is. It is, Clyde. It looked like when he was going for the for the sideline that he got caught up under a Hendersonville tackler and twisted his knee. Now, I'm not sure I'm going just on what I saw. And he is pointing to his knee, and they're now looking at his knee. Looked like his foot got kind of caught in the turf here. And... Uh, they fell on top of him, and his knee stayed put, and that hurts Lebanon both offensively and defensively. Take it back up to you, Clyde. Okay, we've got a momentary timeout, so uh, let's pause for this 30-second commercial break, and then we'll be right back. This is the Blue Devil now. Cool. We're here today with Ms. Fondy Smith from First Bank and Trust to thank them for their support and present them this football souvenir. We at First Bank and Trust wish the Lebanon Blue Devils a very successful year. L-A-S! On it, what does it look like with Griff? They're checking his knee out now, Tommy. Uh, Dr. Kalin's over here uh, doing the uh, doing the examination on him now, and uh, he uh, just poked in on the old knee there and uh, looked up and kind of nodded. So uh, looks like he's going to have a little uh, knee problem that uh, he's talking to Coach Diller now. We're not sure. Uh, holler back at me here in just a few, and we'll check it out. Guys, what else can happen to this football team this year? First, we lose. Uh Stafford to running back, and that really hurt us. And now in danger of losing uh, Griffin here. And uh, well, we've got a center. We've been snake bit all year. We've got a center, uh, Mike Dinwiddie, who hasn't played a snap all year. Dinwiddie had the knee problem in preseason, and uh, he is now back out, back out dressing out and uh, practicing. He's uh, coming back into form. Uh, J.L. Presley goes in to have a knee looked at, and he has some complications, and he's in intensive care. We've had a 
really just a, an odd ball sort of year. And uh, John, uh, you mentioned Dr. Kalen gave the nod. Uh, does that mean a, a positive nod or a negative nod? Well, that means uh, he's not going back in tonight, and they're not going to take a chance is what he said. It may just be a sprain this time. It's too early to tell, but he's not going back in tonight. They're going to take a, take a real good look at it and uh, probably looking at uh, doing the x-rays mri or whatever they do here's lebanon handoff up the middle and here goes reeves the fullback blasting over the 20 to the 19 getting about uh, four yards on the carry lebanon has got to go to the four yard line for the first down it will be second down now and 15. and that would be a terrible blow to that one two punch in the backfield if if we were to lose uh joel griffin to that knee injury and look at it like this too fellas that means both starting linebackers are, are gone that means we're going to go with uh with with our second line guys in there at linebacker wideouts left and right Tressler to the near side c to the far side pitt is back to throw hey here's uh, stafford up the middle stafford over the 15 over the 10 over the five he's got the first down first and goal lebanon at the three yard line that time they just blew Stafford wide up the middle and he had a hole you could have driven a train through. Well, that's the draw play. We faked the draw so much on the uh, downfield passing, but we gave it to Stafford on the draw play. Terry, another good run from scrimmage by Chris Stafford. Tommy, Chris Stafford piles on 16 more yards with that carry. 17 carries on the night, 245 yards for Chris Stafford. And Lebanon with a first and goal out the Hendersonville three and could get a little breathing room here if they can punch this one in. Pitt, the quarterback, wide outs, wide left, wide right. Pitt drops back, fires in the corner. Touchdown, Hankins. Oh, man. Wide open. Super job of Damon Pitt of reading the coverage. Hankins just up, goes out there and gets separation from the, from the defensive back, Lefevre, and Pitt throws it on a line out there. Touchdown pass from Pitt to Jason Hankins, and it was very easy. That one looked so easy. John, you've got the call on this PAT. Gannon to long snap. Again, Tressler to hold, Zachary to kick. The snap's back, the kick is up. It looks good, and it is making the score. Lebanon 27, Hendersonville 13. at Lebanon High School. We're here with Rusty McDonald for Hallmark drive Through and Square One Express to thank them for their support and present to them this Blue Devil football souvenir. We at Hallmark drive Through and Square One Express are proud to support the Lebanon Blue, Blue Devil football program. Go Devils! Touchdown of the season, catching a three-yard touchdown pass from Damon Pitt. Lebanon going 40 yards in four plays. Zachary the extra point. It's now 27-13, Lebanon 9-33 left in the ball game. And Zachary to kick for the Blue Devils. Risha and Vogler deep for the Hendersonville Commandos. Risha is nine Vogler out at about the 11 and I got a moth or something just about to drive me wild up here guys he's been all <laughs> around my head and in my shirt and everywhere else so you picked up a friend out here tonight Clyde <laughs> Zachary set the kick Lebanon getting a little bit of breathing room with that one all they this is the best shape they've been in all night this Hendersonville team has been tough they've been hanging around won't go away get over there with Terry like fella. that moth he just won't go away <laughs> Here's the whistle, 9.33 to play in the ball game, and here's the long or squibble kick. They're going to do it, and it's going to roll and be picked up at the 17, out to the 20, to the 25-yard line, maybe the 26 on the return by Risha. And, guys, I'll tell you what, that little Risha kid, is there ain't much of him, but what there is is a football player. He's pretty tough. He has taken some shots tonight and just keeps bouncing back. John, quickly down to you. Any update on Griffin? Tommy mean, just got through talking with uh, Dr. Bob Kalen, and uh, they're going to uh, put him in the uh, the brace and take him back and run an MRI on him and just see how uh, how much damage there is. He has some damage in there, uh, and they don't know how much. So uh, he's definitely out tonight. He said if it doesn't swell up in the next two hours, he may be looking at just a sprain. All right, we hope that's the case. Hendersonville coming to the near side, got a little bit of a hole, and then ran right back into the Lebanon coverage. If he came on to the near side, uh, Vogler had a little room, looked like, if he kept coming to the near side of the field, and he turned right back into the Lebanon defense, and they get him for a yard, maybe two-yard gain, call it a yard, second down and nine. Clemens and Carson closing in quickly 
on the running back and our linebackers for Lebanon. We've got, I believe, that is, that's right, Henson and Tim Kelly, our two linebackers uh, in there for Lebanon. Second down nine and Miller on a double handoff and here's Cundiff, he's got some room. 30, 35, 36, 37 yard line. First down Hendersonville as Cundiff the ball carrier on a little razzle dazzle, a double handoff in that backfield and uh, Hendersonville comes up with the first down. They run that like a trap play. They pull the tackle and they try to kick out. They uh, started out on the buck sweep and it, that's that double handoff and it's a, a base play in this wing T set and it's been a good play for Hendersonville tonight. And it's first and 10 for the commandos out at their own 37 yard line. And they hand it up the middle and there's no go, maybe a yard and not a lot more as Risha didn't get a whole lot that time. Gained about uh, a yard and a half on the play. Call it two, second down and eight. Griffin on the bench on the sideline, shoulder pads off and uh, ice on the right knee. They've got him braced. And uh, Mark Lucas there talking to him is his linebacker partner. Lucas, of course, missing tonight's game with the effects of a knee uh, of a neck injury last week. Year of the injury bug at Lebanon High. Miller with a man in motion. Back to throw, looks, he's got receivers everywhere, fires over the middle, complete to Case at the 45 of Lebanon, inside the 40, down to the 39, 38-yard line of the Blue Devils. The first time they've hit the wideout tonight. But I tell you what, you give me this quarterback that uh, Miller and the receivers he's got, and looks like I'd like to throw that ball a little more. He, he is definitely a, a skilled quarterback when he has time to throw the football, can get his feet under him, set up and throw, he can really deliver it. Case caught a touchdown pass last week against Warren County, so he's a he's a quality receiver. Case comes to the near side, man in motion to the far side, and they give it to Risha, and Risha's going to get two or three tough yards down to over the 38, 37 to the 36-yard line. A gain of about three. It'll bring up second down and seven, and they spot it at the 36 of Lebanon. Risha, tough little inside runner, and there's just not a lot of him, about 150 pounds. <coughs> Bob Dillard and uh, Mike Bartlett uh, yelling instructions into that Blue Devil defense, uh, hoping they can buckle down and, and shut this Hendersonville offense down. Second down, seven. Rain seems to have let up just a little bit. Good place for a fumble right here. Miller sets him down, and a man in motion. Vogler coming to the near side, and they give it to Risha, and Risha hits a wall, and then, boy, it bounces him back and uh, part of that wall was big uh, alls and another was Clemens and there was another Blue Devil in there that I didn't get the number but uh, just like he ran into a brick wall then well they, they try to run the motion as misdirection Clyde and, and then they come at you with that fullback and and all Clemens Tim Kelly just met him and he bounced backwards and like like you referred to earlier the kids only 150 155 pounds but uh, he has, has taken some shots tonight. Hendersonville's going to take a timeout. Hi, I'm Jim Montgomery, a varsity football cheerleader at Lebanon High School. We're here with Ted Ald, the fake and hooker, to thank them for their support in presenting this Blue Devil Souvenir. On behalf of fake and hooker and his employees, we'd like to take this opportunity to wish Coach Bob Dillard, his coaching staff, and his players at Lebanon High School a very prosperous year. Go Devils! 99 remote tomorrow at Lebanon Pawn and Gun from 10 to 11. $500 shopping spree to be given away there. Handoff coming to the near side is Risha, and Carson's going to have him for a big loss. Didn't get him down, but Carson played that well, and the loss, I can't believe where they're going to give that kid to. They're going to give him a yard loss. <laughs> Boy, somebody down there has got some... Got some better eyes than I had. Carson was in the backfield. Oh, man. And, and see, Carson played it uh, played it like you're supposed to. He didn't pick him up and slam the guy into the ground. He just stopped his forward momentum and uh, got the play stopped, and they blow the whistle. They blew the whistle five yards deeper from where they, they now, spotted the I saw the such football. a spot, but it'd bring up fourth and five anyway, but Hendersonville going to go for it. They don't have anything to lose. 5-10 to play. In the ball game, they trail 27 to 13. Man in motion to the far side, and Miller back to throw. Looks, fires over the middle, got his man, and down at the 25-yard line.